Graduates and guests, may we have your attention, please? Convocation is about to begin. If you have a mobile device or pager with you, please turn it off or silence it during the ceremony. Thank you for your attention and congratulations. If able, please rise. We wish to acknowledge this land on which the University of Toronto operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and the Mississaugas of the Credit. Today, this meeting place is still home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. We are also grateful to have the opportunity to celebrate the achievements of our scholars who graduate today. On their behalf, let us express gratitude for the support of their families and friends, and for the faculty and staff who have guided them in their pursuit of knowledge. Whatever our own traditions, let us reflect as we proceed through the convocation ceremony on the many years of effort, sacrifice, and success that have brought us to this time of celebration. In Conquilium Universitatis Torontonensis Vocati Sumus. Graduands, please remain standing. All guests, please be seated. <clears throat> Insignissima Concolari Presento tibi hosque scolaris ut admitanter ad gradus varius, testorique eos coat omnia k, statuta recurrent aptos et idoneus esse. Ad profectum huius provinciae huiusque magne patriae, et ad profectum omnium nationum omnibus interis conunciarum. Ego. Ex actoritate mihi et toti universitati commissa, admito vos ad gradus varios, quorum jura vobis do, et peto quoque ut omnia conficiatis munera que ad illos gradus pertinent. Please be seated. My name is Chris Yip, and it's my great privilege to serve as Dean of the Faculty of Applied Science and Engineering at the University of Toronto. Today, I have the additional privilege of assisting Professor Joshua Barker, Vice Provost, Graduate Research and Education, and Dean of the School of Graduate Studies in conducting this convocation. The university is an institution with deep historical roots and many enduring traditions, and among those is our use of the language of the medieval university in today's wonderful celebration. For those in attendance who, like me, are much less than fluent in Latin, a translation may be helpful. For my part, I said, most distinguished chancellor, I present to you these scholars, 
that they may be admitted to the various degrees, and I bear witness that, as far as all things which the statutes require, they are fit and suitable. Much more significantly, from the standpoint of the graduating class, the Chancellor then replied, to the benefit of this province, this great country, and to the worldwide community of nations, I, by the authority vested in me and in the whole university, admit you to your various degrees, grant to you these rights, and ask of you the responsibilities of doing all those things which pertain to these degrees. And so, as my first order of business, I'm delighted to salute you, the graduating classes of 2023, from the Faculty of Applied Science and Engineering and the School of Graduate Studies. That's it, you're done. Gwalamers, well, congratulations. I would also like to bid a warm welcome to everyone who has joined us here in historic Convocation Hall. Graduates, today the University of Toronto is formally recognizing your hard work, your accomplishments, your perseverance, and this milestone. And speaking of perseverance, you've successfully completed your program in extraordinary and challenging times, and today's celebration is all the more meaningful for it. Each of you, as a member of the graduating class, is joining an exceptional family of University of Toronto alumni. U of T is a global community of over 660,000 alumni in 196 countries. They are the university's living legacy and our greatest ambassadors. U of T alumni serve in leadership roles in every corner of the globe and in every walk of life. They are prime ministers, justices, scholars, authors, community and business leaders, scientists and professionals of every description. Their endeavors have shaped the world we live in and the way we understand that world. We have no doubt that the University of Toronto's high international standing can be attributed to generations of dedicated and very talented faculty and staff members. But we also understand this reputation has been built by our alumni, a group that now includes each and every one of you. So the graduating class, let me say thank you. Thank you for your many contributions to the university while you were a student. And thank you for what you will do as members of Canada's largest and I believe most distinguished alumni community. And there's one more word of thanks is in order. I'm sure all graduates share a sense of gratitude to the friends and family members who have helped bring them to this special day. And I would ask you to join me in the platform party in thanking them with a vigorous round of applause. Um, let me continue with one, uh, one more request. Um, one of the distinguishing features of our convocation is that graduates come forward to be recognized individually. And you will then leave the stage using the ramp and this red carpet, um, exit out the door and around the hall. And at that point, you'll turn left, quietly re-enter the hall as your peers continue to be recognized. I'd encourage you to think of the very last person to be on stage. I believe that will be George Zhu. Could you please stand up? <laughs> So everyone, remember your classmate and return to your seat. <laughs> uh, finally, I note the university is a mask-friendly environment. We ask everyone to respect each other's decisions and comfort levels with regards to health and safety uh, concerns. And so similarly, we will forego the traditional handshake, but promise to offer enthusiastic applause as you pass by on the stage. Uh, thank you for your understanding and assistance, and once more, uh, warmest congratulations. So now it is my pleasure to introduce today's convocation speaker, Tahir Mahmood. Dr. Mahmood is a California-based engineer, scientist, inventor, and entrepreneur who has founded and developed several biotech and other life science startup companies. Most recently, Dr. Mahmood was co-founder and CEO of Applied Molecular Transport, a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company developing targeted biological therapeutics for treating immunological, metabolic, and other diseases. He is also the co-founder and board director of Mindera Health, a skin genomics company. A double alumnus of the University of Toronto, he received the 2T5 Mid-Career Achievement Award from the Faculty of Applied Science and Engineering Alumni Network in 2021. So please welcome Tahir Mahmood to the podium. Thank you, Dean Yip, for the kind introduction and inviting me to talk at Convocation today. It's an honor to be speedy, speaking to this year's graduating class. So, class of 2023, 
You did it. Well done. You've pulled through the trials of years of unending problem sets and assignments, tests, finals, failed experiments, designs and code that didn't quite do what they were supposed to, committee meetings, quals, writing your theses, and finally, getting it all together enough to be here today. I know how it is, because I've gone through it too, three times. Well, I can tell you unequivocally that you have already been trained in the art of resilience and perseverance, regardless of whether you've completed an undergraduate degree, a master's, or a doctorate. You have proven to these folks here that you deserve a seat in this chamber. So again, well done. I hope you have reflected on what you've achieved, because life is going to come at you fast and furious, and you will rarely have time to look back. Today, I would like to share two main ideas that I hope you will take from here and think about as you plan your next steps in further studies or in your careers. First, solve big problems. It's not that all small problems are trivial, but there is a multitude of huge, civilization-altering cha level challenges that we're facing. Many of these we know about, not only because we can observe them or, 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 or see them, but because we live in a time where technology has allowed us to identify and measure these and to predict their impact. And I'm not just talking about climate change or AI run rampant. There are issues in health and, and medicine, critical minerals and rare earth resource supply, food science, global and regional inequity, just to name a few, that demand urgent and robust action to prevent the wheels from coming off of our societies. The automotive reference is tongue in cheek because we are on the cusp of a new era of transportation of all types that has the potential for the first time since the industrial age to go beyond fossil fuels that were a Jurassic gift that could cause us to go the way of those whose carbon and hydrogen atoms were burning. But we are not there yet, and it will take a very heavy lift to bring it across the finish line. But with all of this come incredible opportunities that I can barely even imagine. Do not hold back from asking the important questions that need to be asked, even if they're difficult and do not have a clear and obvious solution. Just because no one else is asking does not diminish their importance and relevance. Force the issue if you have to. The world needs you. There are many pressing issues that we know and many others that would reveal themselves during the course of your careers. I would urge you to use your time, your skills, and your mind share on problems that will move, meaningfully move the needle in whatever area they're applied. Now, this comes across like such a simple idea and sound, sounds obvious, one would think. But I'm telling you this because it is probably the most singularly impactful piece of advice that I've been given. And it was told to me by my PhD advisor with all seriousness and solemnity on my last day as a graduate student. And I have used this as my North Star and guiding principle when making decisions on career choices and projects or in other areas such as philanthropic support or mentoring. I would say that this reasoning is directly responsible for decisions that I have made and led me to found companies in areas that they're in and the problems we chose to tackle. In fact, many of the things I've done in my professional life had been viewed by others as impossible or a fool's errand. Incredible and mind-blowing if they work but too big of a problem to try to solve. For example, when we started AMT, we went out to solve challenges in the delivery of biologic medicines that have been tried and failed ever since doctors Banting and Best discovered insulin just down the road from here in 1921. Or when we started Mindera Health, being able to extract intact genetic material from deep within a person's skin without any surgical procedure was met with intense skepticism. People including many pharmaceutical executives and venture capital investors, thought we were crazy to attempt to leap so far. It is said that there can be a fine line between courage and insanity. I think it is insane and irresponsible of us who are privileged to have this opportunity 
to not swing for the fences. All of you really can reach for the stars. And with, with this audience, with the rocket scientists in the room, I mean that figuratively and literally. Solve big problems. The second idea that I would like to discuss may be viewed as antithetical or mildly provocative given who I'm addressing. But I want to tell you that the most important element in your advancement and progress through your career at innovating is not technology or science and engineering. It is the human element. And it comes into play at many levels. A successful career path, if there ever were such a thing, will depend more on your ability to adopt to a world that is changing around you more rapidly that can seemingly be measured than probably on anything else. How you fit your technical skills in the context of this change, or ideally drive the change yourselves, will require creativity and persistence, and knowing how to effectively deal with stakeholders. You are entering professional life at a time where the number of years of experience and other traditional metrics for career advancement are becoming obsolete. In fact, you will have the opportunity to create your own unique pathways that previously did not exist. And most importantly on this point, leadership is rarely going to be about technical prowess and expertise, about how amazing your designs are or how quickly you solved a key supply chain logistics problem. Instead, it's going to be about your ability to have empathy with those who you work with, who you lead, and who you serve. In other words, do you understand the human element of the people on your team and your customers? In my experience, this is rarely taught in technical and deeply scientific disciplines such as ours. And it is hard to teach, frankly. There's enough technical knowledge that you're being made to master that there's often little room or time to inculcate these abilities. A wise person, a scientific academic mentor at U of T, once told me that one of the best lessons in leadership can be found in the sixth book of Plato's Republic. I was intrigued enough to go to the arts library and read the book. It's probably the only time I went there in my six years here. To my surprise, there was no mention of science or engineering. Now, why do I believe you all are eminently equipped to do the things that the world needs from you? Your University of Toronto engineering pedigree is top of the list. It will give you the instant brand recognition and will open doors anywhere in the world. Believe me, I, I speak from experience. My former undergraduate classmates are doing everything ranging from building digital community apps in South Africa to managing chip design teams at leading semiconductor fabricators, to running alternative energy companies, to being mission controller at NASA, remotely controlling unmanned SpaceX capsules and do docking to the International Space Station. The U of T brand is truly second to none. And I've gone to graduate school in Boston, lived and worked in Europe, and spent the last 20 years in California. It is the same everywhere. And this comes for a very good reason. You have had top-tier training and exposure, no matter what your degree level of program, and access to thought leaders here who are highly regarded and sought after in their disciplines. You're expected to be big thinkers, so use that to your advantage. Class of 2023, go out there and do what we know you're capable of. The world needs you. Thank you, and congratulations. Dean Barker, I have the honor to present to you the following candidates from the School of Graduate Studies who are being admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Amanda 
Aliyang. Alara Marie Ann Anderchuk. Hassan Aniz. Azadeh Asadi. Piapong Buham. Shashu Kayo. Gurjat Daliwal. Maryam Ibrahim Yazar. Tiago Fernandez Linz. Pardis Garamani. Isaac Major Jackie. Young Priscilla Lai. Ji Eun Lee. Colin O'Brien. Vidant Pal. Yu Yu Pen. Daniel DeGraff Pepler. Jason Rebello. Romario Regenes. Mengfen Sai. Sa Xiao. Gaoway Su. Candidates from the School of Graduate Studies who are being admitted to the degree of Master of Applied Science. Anastasia Obilak. Ali Bargazar Kanga. Alicia Rees Cherney. Christopher Chang. Aravith Kutsismani Chambu. Shirley Chung. Daniela Eliathambe. Melina Fartaj. Damir Verhatovic. Alexandra Fyodorova. Michael Henderson. Christopher Hu. Mohammed Fawaz Khan. Kimberly Kamui Lai. Derek Lim Rui Chun. Michelle Lai.
Amir Saman Osia. Alexa Liana Rie. Eric Rendell. Calvin James Reeder. Mohammed Bustayi. Rachel Wong. Atusa Ziayani. Candidates from the School of Graduate Studies who are being admitted to the degree of Master of Engineering. Praharsha Abiredi. Kayan Amadi. Fariz El Watar. Jeffrey Marcus Solomon Amelananthan. Juan Jose Angulo Reyes. Dipanchu Benzel. Siddhartha Behal. Omar Bujaudi. Anna Cecilio Castro Oligan. Evgeny Sebanov. Yushi Cheng. Christina Sarah Charlie. Abhishek Chowdhury. Aoting Cheng. Wenjin Chen. Wayuan Chen. Zijian Chen. Alexander Chen. Chen Wei Chen. Xin Chen Kong. Andrew Kostaninescu. Meg Chen Sui. Yin Chuan Dai. Haiming Ding. Arunava Das. Lian Ding. Sinhi Dong. Jian Du. Emerald M.M. Ekong. Haya El Arabi. Quinlan Chase El Hagi. Karim El Zatari. Lee 
Luke Fregonese. Xiaodong Fu. Mohit Raj Singh Dasharansin Gohil. Robert Peter Gould. Rahul Grover. Aniket Sanjay Gujarathi. Jia Guo. Jianfeng Guo. Mengzhi Guo. Kishnan Basant Gupta. Niusha Hakoi. Yan Heo. Maya Harumaya. Jabin Hei. Eugenia Hua. Chuo Yu Huang. Wang Gujia Huo. Yamna Muhammad Irfan. Aditya Jane. Janyu Jang. Yanji Jang. Jeswin Joseph. Ahmed Kagzi. Ish Kapoor. Nicole Ashley Caps. Mukesh Reddy Kayadapuram. Bagishri Manoj Keshwani. Abdul Rahman Khalid. Sohaib Kotwal. Krishna Pradatsad, Krishna Sami, Sandara Varadan. Shannon Tin Oi Lee. Wenhao Lee. Sin Lee Lee. My beautiful family, I love you. Zhu Hui Liang. Wei Lin. <laughs> Huen Liu. <laughs> Hui Sen Liu. <laughs> Pi Shi Liu. Woo! <laughs> 
Swanting Liu. Yanshu Liu. Yue Liu. Zeng Yang Liu. Evan Yunzi Liu. Ji Bing Ma. Ivan Mendikov. Vaishnavan Mukukayaya. Same Nader. Sammy Norella. Uzo Chukwa Okeki. Wen Pu O. Jia Chen Pan. Daval Kumar Patel. Geet Shalesh Kumar Patel. Nisarg Genshayambai Patel. Yishoi Peng. Amanda Persad. Shua Eleanor Ping. Rikti Kirit Kumar Pravashi. Yihan Shi. Sarav Salil Raghavan. Ishant Yadram Singh Rawat. Ya Shing Ren. Miguel Angel Rogel Garcia. Prakriti Saini. Morteza Sakari. Raylin Shan. Hanzu Shayu. Shihan Shen. Gurpreet Singh Sudhu. Jasmeet Singh. Yuxing Sun. Ming Tang. Yangsheng Tang. Bavishe Thapar. Sudev Murlalidharan Thaza Kakode. Fendi Halim Joja. (laughs) 
David Togo Nizdi. Siva Subramarian Badakanthara Sivara Mak Rishnanan. <laughs> Hannah Tiffany Van Straveren. <laughs> Harry Vansanam Venugopal. And Cheat Vijay Akamur. Vasanth Ravin Vincent Paul. Rutvij Sanchin Vivas. Farhan Wadia. Shubo Wen. Xilan Wang. Ji Wang. Sangshi Wang. Wenzong Wang. Su Wang. Yizi Wang. Yinshi Wang. Yiran Wang. Yuhio Wang. Sihio Wang. Chin Ming Wang. Ki Chan Wang. Hanmian Wu. Yujia Wu. Yulan Wu. Zioshi Sia. Wenfei Xiang. Yanjie Su. Pengxi Jiang. Yan Yu. Sihio Zeng. Jingyu Zhe. Jinjing Zhen. Bofeng Zhang. Hayo Zhang. Xia Chang Zhang. Junxiang Zhang. Ray Zhang. Yi Zhang. Yi Chen Zhang. Jia Xing Zhao. Wen Zhao.
Yiru Xiao. CG Zhou. Hua Song. Jiaping Zhu. Jingwen Zhu. Shanji Drew. Candidates from the Faculty of Applied Science and Engineering who are being admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Applied Science, Industrial Engineering. Muhammad Shazab Ahmed. Nada Al Akir. Nilo Ali Rezaei. Mohammed Rayad Al Takrori. Riza Angeli. Amaruz Dulanto. Sarah Christina Angelo. Alexandra Alfred Anise. Sydney Rose Anonuevo. Mohammed Mustajab Azam. Erica Faye Barrietas. Maisha Farzana Biswa. Lara Kaglar. Wing Yan Chen. Jinji Chen. Jonathan Kevin Chen. Magdalene Tinhang Choi. Jinhoon Chung. Karthik Sakit Daitha. Albert Jalin Ding. Kutim Dakai. So long, do. Avril Hope Imond. Gabriel Maurizio Escobar Sade. Caitlin Danielle Everett. Yi Sin Bang. Yu Ching Bang. Yi Nan Fu. Kai Kajing Bang. Jen Chuang Gai. Danny Ganem. Santiago Gomez Montenegro Fernandez.
Emily Alessandra Goridovka. Robert Emmanuel Grzykiak. Ashat Gulyan. Fitra Noviana Hartono. Matthew Ng. William Matthew Hereze. Dennis John. Kyle Justin Julio. Khan Kanat Lee. Rama Ali Moham Kashef Al Jaita. Darak Kasimogli. Zuria Tasnin Khan. Mohammed Qatar. Tom Itshak Kreninen. Preeti Kumari. Jansio Lee. Lincoln Leung. Ji Ang Lee. Suchi Nancy Lee. Yuran Liang. Yang Lin. Yeshi Lin. Matthew Zane Linzon. Sinu Liu. Jason Loy. Fun An Lu. Juan Juan Ma. Ali Maga. Sarah Mansour. Liam Campbell Greenwood Maranger. Tyler David McLeod. Hussein Gohar Mohammed. Audrey Natasia. Kate Nye. Scott Christopher Oxholm. Sachi M. Patel. Ramadan Basan Kaud. Farah Zabin Rahman.
Cecilia Agnes Rosario. Erin Jessica Maria Sahadio. Alvin Shi. Andre Nicolas Silvestri. Michael Anthony Johansson Simon. Jonathan Michael Sinopoli. Justine Claire Stephen. Shishao Su. See you, son. Burke Tangulu. Cheng Yu Tayo. Stephanie Michelle Chomchek. Selena Tong. Venkat Vivekanandan. Lila Vathi Vutukuru. Rachel Caroline Walker. Xixian Wang. Sarah Margaret Wentling. Kelise K. Williams. Anita Shu. Diane Shu. Gina Yazdan Pana. Stephen Jaishen Yi. Ziyang Ye. Wen Yu Yu. Dahong Zhang. Jinji Zhang. Sin Zhang. Amelia Zhang. Yichang Zheng. Jessica Chenin Chow. Julian Peng Zhu. Candidates from the Faculty of Applied Science and Engineering who are being admitted to the degree of Bachelor of Applied Science, Mechanical Engineering. <laughs> Kimia Abedi. <laughs> Danielle Hassan Adil. Aspen Yar Ashsan. Jack Un. Yeah. 
David Anthony Armiento. Simran Kaur Bajwa. Salim Mohammed Bakker. Shalin Vilas Bakshi. Niha Basra. Diana Bermas. Jose Pablo Badancor Garces. Rohan Banot. Patricia Lorne Rowley Bors. Vanessa Botero. Mitchell Victor Brack. Adam Cavallo. Andreas M. Severa Rosso. Mohammed Imad Chabaita. Rabita Chabrotra. Hei Shan Harrison Chan. Prabhjot Singh Chala. Yashvanash Chala. Yutung Jasmine Chen. Chenril Cheng. Kilong Cheng. Yin Sheng Sarah Chu. Jess Samuel Chudnow. <laughs> Natalie Nicole Chihon. <laughs> Kevin Papa Kobe. <laughs> Alpidio Joseph Copetti. Michael Cortez. <laughs> Natalie Sarah Cristofaro. <laughs> Phil Stephen Kuven. <laughs> Francis Joseph Michael Cassidy DeMello. Chirag Manish Kumar Daani. <laughs> Kartike Dingra. <laughs> Peter Anthony De Palma. <laughs> Elisaveta Dimitriva. Emily Teresa Domanos. <laughs> Rachel Ann Eason. <laughs> uh, 
Mohammed Omar Safawi. Lana Eleldin El Saisi. Natalie Irmashova. Celin Erten. David Ashraf Anis Salib Funas. Genevieve Averell Fernandez. Lucas Tadio Alves Fernandez. Nish Gandhi. Diego Gomez. Miguel Gomez. Robert John Hansen Graydon. Maxwell Kwakwa Jima. Tazwar bin Hassan. Ella Hatoum. Karim Hilal. Riku Hiroshi. Yicheng Hoyo. Ji Huan Hu. Vicky Huang. Jimmy Hune. Megan Kate Jaritzma. Ritvik Joshi. Sinikta Vivek Joshi. I owe you all to you, Mom. Zishan Karmali. Akram Ali Khan. Rose Hyunji Kim. Ellie Alexander Klassen. Irira Barrow Co. Jimin Kwan. Carson Lau. Khan Lin Li. Basa Mahuin Li. Sebastian Charles Leonard Levy. Yang Li. Sarah Liu. Elaine Ma.
Jali Ma. Jun Chao Ma. Harshit Mahajan. Victoria Alamide Majalogamid. Karim Nabil Said Maximus Mansour. Yu Hong Mayo. Mini. Pombo do Armao A. Menezes. <laughs> Katrina Yun Ling Meng. <laughs> Sherry Gamal Mikhail. <laughs> Max. Daniel Mizrahi. <laughs> Abdi Fata Hossein Mohammed. <laughs> Jordan Roy Mohanlal. <laughs> Sidhanth Muleil. Muhammad Suhail bin Anwar. <laughs> Reina Nakiima. <laughs> Min Namgang. <laughs> Richard Nasso. Benjamin Joseph Nero. <laughs> Jian Rin Ng. <laughs> Nero Huda Binti Zuki. <laughs> Adiola. Olu Fun Milayayo Oje Luke Anthony Palandra Michael Valentino Hardy Jaskarn Singh Harmer. <laughs> Stephanie Marie Perry. <laughs> Kirie Pagu. <laughs> Annie Fem. Mohammed Abdul Qadir. <laughs> Tasnim Rahman. <laughs> Anchorage Rainwalker. <laughs> Alexandra Ramos. Sirat Raymond. <laughs> Vidya Ruthra. <laughs> Muhammad Khaled Safar. <laughs> Hanif Saraf Sakling.
Paula Santas Rodriguez. Pavithira Sarah Vanna Pavaven. Kayvon Sichon. Stratus Thomas Siavelius. Damiano Silva Cicera. Ryan Yu Ting Sit. Michelle Kate Stevens. Shire Su. Abby Cash Sukmaran. Vanessa Jade Tan. Norbert William Tanax. Edward Tian. Liam Toner. Christopher Tong. Nicholas Sai. Chuk Wunanima Bettina Uponi. Victoria Ria Vastis. Victoria Patricia Belikonya. Christine Vu. Maggie Quay An Bong. Xiaojia Wang. Shui Feng Wang. Yuran Wang. Yu Hang Wang. Jing Yi Wei. Kai Xiao Wang. Ji Yuan Yang. Haley Wing Yi Yap. Shane Glenn Young Husband. Mohammed Parsa Youssef Poor. Li Jing Yu. Andrew Jang. Hangan Jang. Yanchang Jang. Huan Chang Zhao. Yi Kan Ju. Ying Zhu Ju.
on behalf of the University of Toronto and by virtue of the authority vested in me, I hereby admit all of those candidates not here present to their degrees in absentia. As we conclude convocation, I wish to thank all of you for your participation and patience. To the families and friends and to those in the procession, let me say thank you. You've made this a much more enjoyable and memorable event for each member of the graduating class. I would like to thank Professor Joshua Barker for presiding over today's ceremony. I wish to thank as well the many other colleagues and friends of the university who participated in this convocation, whose names you will find in the program. I now invite Professor Barker to bring today's ceremony to a close. As I bring this convocation ceremony to a close on this, your special day, I hope we will see you often in the years to come. And I invite you to stay connected. We will be very interested in your journey. And we know that you will make an impact for the better in whatever path you choose. Concilium dimisum est. <laughs>